He is the only one in history that can save you. In, in Mark chapter 2, a guy who had committed sin came up to the Lord and the Lord said to him, your sins are forgiven. Only God can forgive sins. Yeah. And yet Jesus forgave his sins. They brought a woman who had committed adultery in John chapter 8. And they brought that woman to him. And he said, whoever has sinned, cast the first stone. And he forgave that woman who committed adultery. Jesus forgave her. Only God can forgive sins. And God can forgive you today. God can say to you right now, I forgive you. But it came at a price. It came at a cost. It came at his own blood on that cross. It came on the cross where he shed his blood. It cost him dearly. It cost him his own blood shedding for you on that cross. And if you want life today, God offers you that life. But you've got to run from it and believe it and trust him. And if you do, you can be saved. You have to lean upon him and not yourself. You have to lean upon him and not your own righteousness. Paul said, my righteousness is filthy rags. And if you claim to be righteous before God and think that will, that will get you to heaven, you've misunderstood the gospel. The gospel is, Paul said, my righteousness is filthy rags. And then he said, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Amen. He come to realize that the only way to be saved, the only way to be right with God, the only way to be right with him is to rest in Christ, to trust in Christ, to lean on Christ, to have faith on Christ. And if you do that, if you lean upon him and trust him and repent, repentance is turning away from the old life, that which you know is not right, and turning to the right way and turning to the path of Jesus Christ. That is the new life that you can have today.